Second Thessalonians chapter 2 And we ask you, brothers, in regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, that you are not quickly shaken in mind, nor be troubled, neither through the Spirit, neither through word, neither through letters, as through us, as that the day of the Lord has arrived. Do not let anyone deceive you in any way, because if the departure may not come first, the man of lawlessness may not be revealed, the son of destruction, who is opposing and is raising himself above all called God or worshipped, so as for him to have sat down in the temple of God, proclaiming that he is God. Do you not remember that, yet being with you, I said these things to you, and now you have known what is restraining, for his being revealed in his own time, for the secret of lawlessness already works. Only the one now restraining will do so until he may come out of the midst, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the spirit of his mouth, and will nullify at the appearance of his coming, whose coming is according to the working of Satan, in all power and signs and lying wonders, and in all deceitfulness of the unrighteousness in those perishing, because they did not receive the love of the truth for their being saved. And because of this, God will send to them a working of delusion for their believing the lie, that they may be judged, all who did not believe the truth, but were well pleased in the unrighteousness. And we ought to give thanks to God always for you, brothers, beloved by the Lord, that God chose you from the beginning to salvation, in sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, to which he called you through our good news, to the acquiring of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand fast and hold the traditions that you were taught, whether through word, whether through our letter. And may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who loved us and gave continuous comfort and good hope and grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work.